Hello and welcome back everyone. So this is going to be a quick avalanche staking update. Um, since the last video I posted, I've changed a couple things with my strategy. So I just wanted to share that with you guys here. And I also want to show you guys how you can be earning like 30, 31% APY on stable coins on avalanche. Okay, so let's get right into it. All right, so the last video I posted, I basically showed you guys how I was getting paid to borrow. I basically put up 56 AVAX and half of an ETH up as collateral. And I borrowed $750 worth of USDT against it and then resupplied it, right? So I was earning 11.73% on the 56 AVAX. I was earning around 4% on that half Ethereum. Now it's one Ethereum. I'll explain why. But back then I was earning 4% on half of Ethereum. And then I was also borrowing USDT, earning 10% for borrowing it because I was paying 9% interest and they were paying me back 19% to borrow. So I was getting 10% to take out that loan. And then I was resupplying that loan to them and earning another 17.65, around 18% on it, right? That was the plan. So what has changed? So basically I added more collateral. I put another um, half ETH in here and I borrowed another $750 worth of stable coin, but this time worth of DAI. Now, why did I take out um, DAI rather than USDT? Because I could have been earning a, a bit more if I took out USDT, right? And if I resupplied it, I would have earned a lot more, right? There's 17.65% and resupplying DAI, I would only get 8.56%. But as you can see here on the supplied tab, I'm not supplying that USDT anymore and I'm not supplying the newly borrowed DAI. So what am I doing with my USDT and my DAI? I'm basically using the borrowed USDT and borrowed DAI to stake in another liquidity pool on Trader Joe. So I'm staking in this USDT DAI pool. You can see that I have about 1500 bucks in there, which is this borrowed amount. So I'm earning around 30%, 26.5% on my USDT DAI. And this is a stable coin liquidity pool. So I have no risk of impermanent loss, right? It's not like I'm staking um, like ETH USDT to where like ETH can go up and I can incur some impermanent loss, right? That's not going to happen. These are two stable coins. And there's this pool as well, USDC DAI, where you can earn 30.67%. And obviously these APRs go up and down depending on uh, the liquidity. So this liquidity pool has $26 million worth of liquidity and this one has 30 million. So obviously this APR is slightly lower, but I mean, Hey, 26, 30% on stable coins is amazing. Right? And this is AP APR, right? If you compound it daily, it'd be more, it'd be more than 30%. It'd be higher. So if you do want to compound daily, there's another protocol here called Yield Yak. And I'm personally not using Yield Yak, but it is nice because it auto compounds for you. Um, I'm personally not using it because I'm already taking on smart contract risk with Banky and Trader Joe. And I mean, I don't mind compounding myself once or twice daily. But hey, if you don't mind taking on that smart contract risk, that extra smart contract risk, then by all means do that because this is nice. It just compounds it for you. Just throw your LP tokens in there and you're all set. But what I'm personally doing is just leaving it here on Trader Joe and just compounding. Honestly, I'm not compounding actually. I'm honestly just holding on to the Joe token for now just because I feel like speculating on it. So in most cases, I'll usually just farm to dump, right? Whatever farming token I'm getting, I'll swap it over to um, a stable coin or to ETH or to Matic or whatever, right? In this case, I'm probably going to hold on to my Joe um, for two reasons. So one, I think that a whole lot of people are going to start getting onto Avalanche as more and more of these dApps start getting built. And honestly, none of them have really been built yet, especially the blue chip ones like uh, Sushi Swap, Ave curve none of them are here yet so i think that when they actually do launch we could probably see 
farms on Avalanche and farm tokens on Avalanche go up, right? But obviously that's just speculation. This farm token can go to zero, right? So if you want to take profits on it, do that. Swap it over to stablecoin if you want, or if you want to play it really safe, just compound daily back into this uh, um, stablecoin liquidity pool, okay? But I'm not staking that much, right? It's only 1500 bucks in here, so the rewards aren't like crazy huge. So I'm just going to hold on to my Joe. That's what I've been doing, and that's what I'm going to do for the next week or so. Just because I, I think it can appreciate in price in the short term. So yeah, that's basically all I've changed. So now I'm earning 11.8% on 56 AVAX. I'm earning over 4% on 1 ETH. And then I'm also earning 10.25% for borrowing USDT, 5.45% for borrowing DAI. And then I'm taking that USDT and I'm taking that DAI and I'm coming and I'm putting it in this liquidity pool. And by putting it in this liquidity pool, I'm earning another 27% on the borrowed amount right because i'm just borrowing this this is being put up as collateral and i'm just borrowing this but through borrowing this i'm earning that 10.5 percent that 5.5 percent and i'm also earning an additional 30 percent through this liquidity pool so yeah we're earning aprs on top of aprs on top of aprs just like we like it <laughs> Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the video, and if you're new around here, I post daily DeFi content just like this, so if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, okay? I'll catch you guys in the next one.